Yes, sir. That was Black Friday by the homie Daylight and Mr. To the P. Friday the 25th. We'll be dropping Maniana on Christmas Day. Now, without further ado, let me bring on the Quill himself, Mr. Matrix, Mr. Spawn, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Tax, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. West Coast, what's up, my nigga? Daylight in the building. What's up, homie? What's goody, boy? Oh, you already know what it is, man. Right here on T7M Radio, the polls don't lie. Tune in right now, 347-989-8102. We got the quill in the building. Light, what's good? You know, I was tuning in, listening to y'all about that chilling JC joint, you know. A lot of people got mixed mixed feelings about that thing. It's, it's one of those battles, man. It's, it's, a, it's a one of those debatables, but I lean towards chilling. Me? Myself. Me, I'll say both of them niggas lost. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you why though. I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why both of them lost. Both of them lost because that is indeed the best battle on the URL channel, and yet it don't have half the views as as mm-hmm. the other battles. That's a great point. I mean, but that goes with namesake, right? For the most part, right? That that lets you know. That lets you know battle rap is dead, bro. This shit ain't got nothing to do with skill. Me and my brother Lupe, Mickey Fats, and Chilla Jones was just talking about this shit earlier. We was talking mm. about, you know, the direction that battle rap has went into. And, you know, little little do we know it or little do we want to accept it. But what happened to the music industry just happened to battle rap right under our nose. Lyricism got pushed to the back while, you know, the more performance or the more easier to digest shit is in the forefront right like so do you think that we should probably kind of push for a lot more small room nah, battles it's, it's over bro it ain't it's almost mm. like saying it's almost like saying Wu-Tang should still be on the radio it's mm. over bro damn wow I, I love me some Wu-Tang too man it's over if you love you love Wu-Tang but you ain't about to drive up the street playing it Nah, I'm about to be in the club, nigga. Off no Wu Tang, nigga. You ain't about nah, to not, listen to all the dirty. Though. Exactly, no. nigga. Wu Tang gets so, no play in the club. Nobody wanna try to what, digest lyricism while they exactly, trying to nigga. get at some chicks. Look, look, battle rap has completely took a a a, a one hundred like a ninety a three. Battle rap has done like a three sixty, nigga. Like, really think about it. In the earlier stages of it. You used to have niggas in the crowd like, son, quiet down, be quiet. My man rapping. Nigga, be quiet. Nigga, my man is rapping right now. Be quiet. I don't want to hear no words or nothing in the crowd. Be quiet. Let my man rap. Now, the crowd just go crazy. They don't even know what you said. They just go crazy. I don't know what happened to battle rap, bro. It's dead, and that's why I'm I'm, I'm done with it, bro. It's, it's over with. If JC, if JC and Chilla Jones, if somewhere in the in the battle rap gods, the battle rap gods come down and bless JC and Chilla Jones with like a care package of views, like, and out of nowhere, <laughs> JC and Chilla, out of nowhere, JC and Chilla just jump to like eight million views, bro. Then like that would help us a lot. Speaking of that, man, we gonna transition and talk about this album that's dropping tomorrow, bro. But before we do that, yeah. we gotta bring on the homie. Um, my man, Mr. To The P, also a part of on um, Friday the 25th. Mr. To The P, what's good, sir? Oh, man, just showing sip of my Hennessy and my eggnog with my, uh, with oh, my lady about to make a gingerbread house. I think I'm, I'm, real, I'm real jealous. <laughs> I'm real jealous right now. I ain't got no hand dog right now, man. I got a, I got a, I got a, what's this? A, um, Angry Orchard. Damn, listen, they got a wine cooler. <laughs> hey, man, hey, come on, man. Hey man, <laughs> I think it's I think it's still five point nine alcohol. It, it, it tastes good though, bro. I can't front, man. It, it tastes bomb, man. Hey, but, it's man, a holiday. We got Friday twenty fifth dropping tomorrow, y'all. We, we play at the beginning of the show. We play Xmas on the West, and then we just play Black Friday before we brought Light on. I gotta say, both of them songs is fire. Fire, like, like no gas, <laughs> no gas. They fire. I like saying that, man. Like, I, I feel cool when I say fire mm. like that. I don't know why. I just, you know, hey, we it, just, it feels cool to me when you say it. I feel cooler when you say it. So, hey, <laughs> keep it going. <laughs> so, 
and it's fire. Yeah. So no, I it's a, know, it's a like, well put together. It's a well put together project. You know, not 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 only that. You know what I'm saying? For those who don't know, it's orchestrated by the one and only Darren Vegas, who is a multi platinum producer, and he understands mm. you know how to create music. He understands the sounds. He understands that stuff, man. Like he really understands right. that stuff. So you know, to 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 mix a multi platinum producer with you know a person as genius as myself, also with a person that is ingenious as Mr. P, Mr. To the P, Mr. To the P, you know, like that combination combined is what you will get. You know, what I mean that that like that combination combined is something. That would create the Friday the 25th album And for those who heard the project As you can see The album is 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 something for every genre of music mm-hmm. Exactly And, and, and that, that's one of the first things I noticed about it It's going to give you For the people who know Daylight For his bars um, For his, um, his pen People, they're going to get a little bit of that They're going to get some of the clubs oh, yeah, you know, I, I They're going to get shot everything like I, I made sure, like no matter what verse I did, even if I went like even if I went fourteen bars without a without no punchline, I made sure I shot one in there. <laughs> like I made sure, right, I, I made sure like nah, I got to give them one. Like, but, like you know, I, I really I thought Black Friday was dope because that's something that that hits home to a lot of people, especially parents. Right, because right? everybody yeah. know. Like, before you go Black Friday shopping, you got to do some push-ups real quick. You got to hit the punching bag. Because <laughs> you know it's, it's going to be something. Oh, yeah, you have to go down. On, on somebody. Like, something something going to happen. Something going to pop off when yeah. you go to the Toys R Us. You go to Target. So, Black Friday will go. And Christmas on the West. Come on, man. I'm a West Coast dude through and through. And I, I love the video. The video, especially with, with they like, got the Jerry Curl joining on. And at the end, he was, he was hitting that seawalk. He was hitting that seawalk you know, like, crazy. Like, like I told P earlier, seawalks always look good. You know, like I told <laughs> P earlier, like, like in all honesty, like you know, I might, I might be, you know, uh, a big face on the West, and I am a big face on the West. But I really haven't gave the West Coast something West Coast. This mm-hmm. may be the first, like Christmas on the West, may be the first actual West Coast thing I have gave to the West Coast. Like, and it was dope. I must say, man, it was very dope. Now, people out there, if you're listening, this is T Seven N Radio. Post on live. Call up at three four seven nine eight nine eight one zero two. Now there is a contest going on right now. I don't know if y'all been noticing that. If y'all ain't been following this contest, we're going to the link right there at www.postal.com. I need y'all to understand. If you if you win if you win this test, this little this little do you agree with daylight test, you get a copy of this album free. Yeah. You get a copy. Yeah. Deserve. So if y'all out there sleeping and y'all not y'all not in this contest, you missing out on a dope album. You missing out on seven tracks. That you don't have to fast forward. Each track is dope. So daylight, man, like you dropped a blog, uh, I wanna say it was last week about the transition. From yeah. battle rap to mm. going full length into your music, I want you to mm-hmm. tell to the people and just let us know. Okay, what made you finally come to that conclusion? Um, you know, it came to a point where I was like, "It's actually nothing else left for me to do in battle rap." Like, it's actually nothing. You know what I mean? Like, I know a lot of people be like, "Yo, daylight, I want to see you on URL." I want to see you battle this person, you know, or or I want to not even this person. Niggas like I want to see you battle Lux or whatever. But at the end of the day, like <clears throat> the work, the work that I've put in, and it's, and and not only yes, Eddie, it's right there on the on the TV. Uh, the work that I've put in, you know, all the newcomers I've battled, the big names I've battled, the classics I've gave, the shitty performances I've gave. I've done a, I've done enough for battle rap to say, not only am I retiring, but not only am I taking a break, because at first I was just gonna take a break, like yo, I'm gonna sit, you know, some of this 2016 out and maybe come back at the end of the year. But I was like, you know what, I can wrap it up. Like I don't got nothing else to prove. Wrap it up, man. I did enough, man. I'm, I, you know how Rick Fox just snuck out the NBA on the low. 
Like, niggas ain't right. even know he retired. Like, I'm, oh, I can wrap it up, man. I'm good. I did enough, man. Now, you know, it's time to give, it's time to reach a bigger audience. And I understand music can reach a bigger audience, man. I feel like I'm skilled and talented enough to make, you know, dope music. So it's just time for me to make the transition. You know what I mean? Now, you know that there's some daylight. There's some, there's some members of the Quill Gang out there that they're not, they're not liking hearing that. So, like, what, what would it take? Let's say a year from now. What would it take for Daylight to get back in the ring? Tag team action. Um, um, you know, like I said, I, I'm willing to, like right now, although I'm retired, I'm willing to do a two and two, me and my boy P. So, you know, whoever's, you know, whoever feel like they, they want to book Quill for a two on two match, don't worry about my partner. He's actually, he's a battle rap vet. He's battled a lot of big names. So, mm. You know, me and P is willing to do a two on two if somebody's willing to book that, but I won't be doing no solo battles. All right, so, so, so as far as like um, up and coming projects, what, what can we expect from um, Friday twenty fifth from both you guys, from you guys solo as a solo artist? What can we expect from y'all? Um, on my end, uh, you know, like I still got a lot of stuff. Like I still got a lot of transitioning to do on my end. Like you know. Um, not only, not only, like what I've been doing on the back end, as in this transition, transition is actually finding my lane and finding my, you know, my, like really tuning in with what type of sound I want to give to the world. You know what I mean? And like I said, I told people this like numerous times. I can always drop a project. I can always drop a project. Like right now. I got a big enough fan base to drop a project full of dope bangers and be on the radio and, you know, all of the yada, 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 yada. I can do that right now. But right now, I'm just trying to find myself and I'm trying to find what I want to give to this world and pretty much trying to figure out how I can how I can create something that can stay in this world for, for a very long time. As far as, you know, my project, most of my projects that I had in the works, now that I'm linked up with, you know, Darren Vegas and I'm linked up with Mr. To the P, like I pretty much decided to start from ground zero and really build myself as a as a art as a musician instead of a battle rapper. So so on my end, you know, a lot of things is on hold, a lot of things is getting re revamped, revised, you know, productions is getting remade, like stuff like that on my end. As far as Friday the twenty fifth, man, I don't even think y'all ready for what we about to do starting next year. Just like put it like this: next year, Christmas will be from January first all the way to Christmas again. There won't be we mm. finna mark out all the holidays. Ain't no more holidays. It's only Friday the twenty fifth. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Man. Every if we about. see an Easter bunny or something in the mall, he getting hands put on him. Ain't no more holidays. <laughs> it's only it's only Friday the twenty. That's it.